So, isn't it just a beautiful image or is it a little bit tough to look at? I think it's tough to look at. Let me just do this. Ah, so much nicer, isn't it? And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the power of an ND filter. And it's the video that we're gonna be talking about today. I've gone around Copenhagen and the greater part of Denmark taking some b-roll for you uh, just to kind of show you the importance of having an ND filter in your kit. Now this is good for both videography and photography but more so this is going to be geared towards the videographers out there. You've gotten your lens, you've paid a lot of money for it because it's a fast lens, you know 1.5 and you want that juicy bokeh in your lenses and what you're capturing and you go outside, you're ready to shoot and then you run into a problem. You won't be able to normally put your video settings down at 1 30th of a second or 60th of a second to get that nice kind of smooth cinematic shooting style. So ND filters come in hand a lot. Now is it something that you absolutely have to have in your kit? Well, no. But if you want to stand out as a videographer or photographer and you want to show off to the world the amazing power of the fast lens that you just got, well, you're going to need an NT filter. I'm going to do what I would have had to have done had I not had one. And so there you have it. There's that overexposed image that we were talking about. And just the power of an ND filter is incredible. Right? Normally what I would have to do for a camera setting like this is that I would have to go and I would have to adjust the aperture for that. So I'm gonna do that and you're gonna see that the image becomes properly exposed, but you're gonna be suffering with that iPhone, smartphone looking kind of thing, right? So let's do that. Now right now what you're seeing on the camera is F16. Of course it looks properly exposed, but it looks more bland, it looks flatter, and if you're trying to achieve that cinematic look, well, it's not gonna really work out for you. And you know what, for some people, they don't need it. For others, it's absolute must for any photographer's camera bag. So let's go check out the photos and we're gonna take it from there. Cool. Now that you've seen the clips, you can get a really, really good idea of how the ND filter can benefit you in your workflow. Now, of course, it is down to a personal preference. Do you want something to be isolated from the background or do you want to have a general open field or depth of field where you can kind of sort of see everything with a tiny bit of separation? That could also be your thing. But if you look at today's smartphones and stuff like that, they have a simulated bokeh effect that is just very widely used. So if you're gonna be investing into glass that gives you that capability, I would highly recommend an ND filter because then it gives you that flexibility to choose. You can choose whether you wanna have the whole scene in focus or just your subject. And it depends on the story that you're gonna be telling. So I hope that those clips were decent enough. It was really, really cold in Denmark, so my hands were kind of shaking and I was like, oh, I gotta get this done. But yeah, I, ho I hope it gives you a good reference as to how it can benefit you uh, and where you can use it. So leave a comment, let me know what you thought. If you have any suggestions, any things that you think would work better, I'm always open to new information and learning about the craft. So with that being said, I hope you all have a really, really good night. And as always, until next time.